Hi and welcome to the end of day 65. I went from Fonestock State Park to Hemlock Springs Campsite. Sorry, I wanted to kind of rush through that because I keep forgetting the name of the campsite I'm at right now. Um, so, I was at Fonestock State Park. Um, there was three of us all together, three through hikers. The other two, Kayak and Hansel, got up at about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Which made me get up. I was able to sleep a little bit longer, but not too long. Um, so I started, I, so I kind of lollygagged a little bit, but I started off from the state park at about 6.30 in the morning. And then I turned north on accident. So I walked about a tenth uh, to two tenths of a mile north until I realized that I went the wrong way and turned around. Um, <clears throat> I then walked the 18 miles over here to, Hem the, to the Hemlock Springs campsite or Hemlock Stream campsite. Uh, it was really hot. It was about 85 degrees. Um, at one point, I thought I, uh, I, I climbed a couple of um, hills today, Canopus Hill and Denning Hill. One of them had a, a nice area called the Ledges, which was bare rock, and I was able to lay my tent out and my uh, my rain cover and my ground cover and they dried pretty quickly because the sun was out. The mosquitoes and the gnats were horrible today. They were just like a swarm. Um, I even put on my bunk spray like twice. They've cleared off now which makes me nervous. But it is not supposed to rain tonight. Um, and if I turn a little bit you can see my tent and I did not put the rain cover on because I'm really hoping to be cool tonight. The rain cover makes my tent really hot. Um, I've been sleeping with the with my sleeping bag liner as opposed to my sleeping bag because it's just too warm. Um, uh, there was a the Appalachian Quickie Mart or something like that. And I stopped there and got an ice cream and some water and drank about maybe two liters before I did my last four miles. Tomorrow I'm going to try to blue blaze what's called Anthony's Nose. It's supposed to have a beautiful view of the Hudson. And I'll be going over to the Bear Mountain Inn and hoping to find a place to stay if it's not too expensive. And I'll take a day and just relax. Um, so I'll do like, I don't know, four or five miles and then call it a day. Uh, things went really well. My my uh, new uh, water filter is working really well. I, I, at one point, I think I uh, messed up my smart straw because... I thought I was out of water, so I was getting really thirsty because I couldn't, wasn't getting any water out of the smart straw. And then it ends up that I had pulled out the like the uh, stopper thing, um, <laughs> and I had a half a liter. So, so I, overall, everything went really well, other than the, the stupid uh, mosquitoes and gnats. Um, so, I will be. I'm waiting for my dinner to cook right now. It's sitting in its little pouch, getting warm. Or getting, uh, hopefully, uh, getting out, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> absorbing the water so that way it's edible. And, um, and uh, after I'm done eating, I'll hang my bear line, or my bear bag, and I will retire for the evening. It's still pretty early, but I'm pretty happy with 18 miles. I uh, The next place to go was like, was at mile 21, and I don't think I have an additional three miles in me. It was, it's just too hot, and it's over another hill and then down, and there's no guarantee of finding a spot. It's at Harriman State Park, and um, or that Bear Mountain Inn, and I'm not guaranteed a spot. So I found a spot to stay, and I'm rambling now. So that being said, um, thank you, and have a great day.